All right, guys, your boy D'Anthony back again with another toy box, Break Room Blitz toy box. So as you know, as you heard, I got this beautiful, beautiful Samsung Note 7. Um, and I got some things to protect it. So I already did a review on my, my case here. It's okay. And I'm all about that uh, screen protector. So what I got from Amazon is a Bond Geek. Let's see if we can let you guys see that somehow. Nope. I guess you can't see it, but uh Bond Geek case here. Um but as you see what I got here, it's some uh transformer glass, I guess. Doesn't say anywhere that this is Bond Geek. Um nowhere on here. Let's turn it over. Uh, nowhere does it say it's Bond Geek, but does say that it's for my Galaxy Note 7. So apparently they know that it's for my Galaxy Note 7, but what is this? Not Bond Geek, but I guess let's just try to just open it up and see what we got. So the Bond Geek got a lot of bad reviews. Um, of course, this is... Um, after I bought it because I pretty much pre-ordered it. The phone wasn't even out by the time I ordered it. Um, I wanted to make sure I had a screen protector by the time the phone got here because I don't want to happen to, you know, accidentally drop it and uh, break it. So, I mean, it comes in a nice little package. I mean, it's not Bond Geek, but uh, Transformers for whatever reason. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and open this up, see what we got in the package here. Alright, so got it open here. And, huh. So here is the screen protector here. Glass. Um, so we get the whole wipes. We get one wet one and one dry one, which is pretty standard. And looks like we got some, some stickers here. Dust absorber. So that's pretty cool. Uh, nice package, but again, it's not Bond Geek. Um, so, 9H, so we can say a 9H, so pretty much, you know, the best you can get as far as screen protectors. So let's see if this, if this is going to pop on. It got, a, it got a one star from a lot of people. So, let's see if this is a one star or not. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to take this case off. First time I've taken it off since I put it on. Uh, so let's see. Comes off pretty well, I think. I'm not doing it right. Uh, there we go. I haven't even taken the sticker off yet. I should, though. Anyway, alright, so. What we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and get this wet nap. Let's do this right. Let's do this right, guys. Get this wet nap here. Get these this dust and fingerprint. Yeah, I guess it's wet. It feels a little wet. Oh yeah, it's definitely wet. See some water droplets going on here. There's so much screen, I'm afraid I'm gonna get a fingerprint on it. Even after doing all this, like, I'm a little nervous about that. I don't want any bubbles going on. I want to give this the best shot that we can here. Oh, look, already something on it already. Look at that. Dang. As soon as I, as soon as I get it. Um, not really liking these wipes. These wipes kind of suck, I believe. Uh, let's see if I can get a let's see if I can get an actual fiber cloth. All right, so I got an actual fiber cloth. So let's get that going. So I wasn't liking. There we go. Cloth they, that they gave me just wasn't getting the impressions off of the fingerprint fingerprints off. And I like it to be smooth, crisp. I don't want to see any blemishes. I don't want it to even look like it has anything on it, you know? So, 
There we go. That looks real pretty right there. Real pretty. Ah, all right. Okay. So let's go ahead get this move this stuff out the way. All this junk. So let's see. I'll go ahead and take this off here, like so. Uh, doesn't look like there's any film on the top at all, which is interesting to me. Hmm. All right. So I guess we can just just move this here and just pop this. Start from the bottom here. Got a good reference point at the bottom. Yeah, it looks good there. So, hmm. Doesn't like there's any adhesive in the middle at all, actually. It looks like the adhesive is on the sides. I mean, it does look to be sticking. Oh, yeah. It's definitely on the sides. I don't know if you guys can see. Like, those little that little lines right there, that's the adhesive. I'm not sure I'm liking that at all. Let's see if we can smooth that out some. It looks to go around the glass, though, which is good. Uh, don't know if I... Hmm. Maybe I didn't put it on correctly here. Let's see if we can... Oh yeah, it's definitely on the sides for sure. Let me bring this up. No, I think I put it on pretty well. I mean, let's see. I want to give us a good review. Uh, you know. I want to make sure I'm not the reason why I don't like it. I mean, that's pretty... I mean... And it curves, so I mean, this it's only going to fit one way, I guess. And I guess that's okay. Yeah, I mean, so it's a snug fit, I think, all the way, yeah, goes all the way around. The edge is there. Yeah. I mean, I feel secure. I would have liked the adhesive, you know, in the middle. You know how you get that the whole little bubbles and stuff. I mean, but I guess the sides are cool as long as it's as long as it sticks. I guess that's all that matters, you know. Um, huh? Oh, you know what? I don't, I don't like that there. It's kind of sticking up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. That bothers me a little bit. I don't. Yeah, you know. If you guys can hear that, but it does stick up a little bit. It's like they didn't get the curve for the actual corners. I mean, it's not the end of the world, you know. Um, but I just, I just like it to be a little more snug. But I guess, you know, with the whole curved screen, it might be a little difficult to do. I had to look up some other, other ones. This one was twenty bucks. I got this for twenty bucks. I mean, I think twenty bucks is a good investment. You know, if you bought a phone that's eight hundred bucks. I mean, I didn't pay 800 bucks. I did the whole next, where you know, it made your bill like 30 bucks more. But it's still a $800 phone. You know, you don't want to be breaking that as soon as you get it. You know, so I like to have that um, plexiglass is what it's called, I believe. I mean, this one doesn't say. I don't think it says it's plexiglass on here, but it's supposed to be plexiglass. 9H should be plexiglass. Um, yeah. Hmm. I mean, first of all, I mean, the package didn't even come in, you know, the right, right package to me. You know, like, I don't know what this is. I didn't buy that. You know, I showed you guys what I bought. Um, this is not that. Um, but whatever. I guess the case doesn't matter. But, um, I mean, I can, who am I going to blame if it doesn't work? You know? Um, I feel like, huh, hmm. Let's see how the fingerprint reader works now. Let's see. Uh, I guess that's all right. I mean, it feels a little different. You know, the fingerprint reader now is, you know, there's like a, um, it goes down. 
like I guess it's since the glass is on top, the button home button is a little dent to get to it, I guess, or indention or whatever you want to call that little dip. Um, so it makes the home button feel a little, little different. Um, well, it looks to be okay. Let's see if we can uh, get some diagnostics here. Okay, let's do some diagnostics here. Um, let's see, we got let's do touch. Let's see how everything is working. So you guys can see that. I have to dim the screen a little bit so we can see. So we we'll go all the way to the top and then come across to the side. My little curved screen there to make sure everything is good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, maybe that was just me. Maybe it was just me. We'll go all the way across. All the way across. And go diagonal. And go diagonal. It looks to be good. Let me just make sure one more time and go all the way down. That'd be a problem. Okay. Uh oh. Hmm. I don't know. Seem to have messed up. Uh towards the side there. Like if I go all the way across I guess we're not going across all the way down. Uh well, maybe it was me. Maybe it was me. But I mean it's okay. I mean I guess alright, so let's see. Touch seems to be good. Touch seems to be good. Now Let's see how it does with me putting on the case. Because it has to go with the case. Otherwise, what what are we doing here? So, go ahead and put the case back on here. Like so. Um, I mean, I mean, I think it's a pretty good fit. I would say. I mean, the only thing is, I don't, I don't like all those marks up there. It just looks like, you know, either it got scratched or like the plastic's coming up. You know, it just looks. I mean, I wouldn't really ding it a lot for that, but um, it does bother me a little bit. Oh, look at that! Here's some popping going on down there. I don't like popping. Mm -mm. Uh oh, we got popping, you guys. We got popping. I don't know. That seems a little, a little sketchy there. Man, I don't like all of that. Can we wipe that off? Let me, let me wipe that off. I'm tired of looking at all those fingerprints in this light. Uh, uh so yeah, it's popping down there a little bit. I mean, I guess it will protect your screen. You know, whatever. But I don't like that popping. You guys hear that? I feel like it's not, not secure enough for me. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. I don't know. If that's because of this. Because of the hmm. It looks like it's because of the case. Am I in there, right? Yeah, I'm all the way in there. Oh, I see. Let me get all the way in there. Uh, doesn't click as loud, but it clicks a little bit. I mean, it will protect the. It will protect the screen. I mean, oh yeah. See, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like that with the case too much. But point is, it protects it. I, you know, I would, probably wouldn't give it a one star like Amazon's rating has been giving it. Um, I would probably give it like I don't know. I mean, I guess I haven't dropped my phone yet, so I don't want to give it too high of a rating. But as far as like um, applying the application, applying the the glass. It actually protecting. You know, going all, all the way around my my curves there. I would probably, you know, have to give it probably maybe a f maybe three or a four. I mean, it, it's it's comes up a little bit. I mean, I don't know how long it's gonna last. I mean, I don't want to just give it a rating right now as the first day. But as far as applying it, it seemed to be okay. Um, it doesn't really fit with this particular case. Could be just the case, um, but definitely wouldn't give it a five out of five. Um, I mean, look at it, it. It just absorbs fingerprints like nothing, really. You know, um, on the back, uh, it has the. It says it's elephobic 
coating, which is supposed to, you know, get away or go away from all the, or I guess repel all the oils, but I feel like sh all my oils in my fingers right on the screen now. Like every drop, my finger's about to be dry um, from all the oil coming off of the screen. But I don't know, I guess I'll probably give it a three. But you guys be the judge. I'm not going to, you know, down it too much. It is protecting my screen. You know, I feel like I feel you know if I was to drop it or whatnot um, but you guys be the judge I wouldn't I wouldn't down it I don't know about 20 bucks maybe 10 you know I'm, I'm trying to wait for uh, IQ shield to come out one because I know it's gonna come in the IQ shield box um, and not some transformer box um, transformer glass you know like what what is that you know like that's nothing that's not a brand or if it is, I didn't I didn't pay for it, you know. Like, how do I know this isn't worth less than what, you know, I thought I was going to get, you know. So, um, again, if you guys go on Amazon and I don't know about that. Look, I can't even, okay, well, I don't know. It seems to not be on the glass. Like, I'm having a hard time pressing stuff. I don't know, I'm going to have to just play with it and let you guys know, but, I mean, it wasn't a dud, but it's definitely not worth 20 bucks, I would say. Um, I would might, you know, get maybe a cheaper one for now to, you know, get you guys through the day, you know, until you can actually get a better one, because some of them aren't coming out until, like, September. Um, but, for, I mean, I guess it'll do for now. If you've got 20 bucks, you just want to blow. But I wouldn't say it was worth 20 bucks, maybe 10, maybe, like, 8, really. Um, so, I mean, it's up to you guys. Let me know what you think. Alright, I'm D'Anthony. Break room bliss, baby. I'm out. Peace.